How glad I am to see you! It really is a true pleasure to see you once again, Jennifer. How long has it been since Agatha's birthday? Uh, well, last year, but the I'm, last time I was there was two years. Two years ago since yeah. we've seen each other. Fantastic! Well, how's your time in New York been? It's been good! How are your classes? Good! 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 <laughs> Great conversationalist, Jennifer. Great conversationalist. Thank Nothing you. has changed. Well, how about grabbing dinner with me tonight? My treat. Oh. I mean, I do have two years of time to make up for. It's about time I started doing something about them. I'm sorry, Terrence, but some of the gang wants to have a party for Miss Stensgard, one of our teachers. But after your lecture, and they're all asking about you. Is that so? Asking about me? Yes, even Miss Stensgard. She's fascinated with all that jazz. Herbert Spencer once said that every legend and myth known to mankind is not entirely without its authentic foundation. The legends of the world have their roots in the midst of time. Some are awesome and terrifying in their implications. There are dark and awful things in this world. Occasionally we get a glimpse of them. Impossible to imagine even in our worst nightmares. And so, it is with great confidence that I can truly state that Count Dracula was indeed a real person. The most evil and terrible creature to ever set his seal upon civilization. Now just a word of friendly reassurance. When you get home tonight and the lights are turned out, and you dread to see a face appear at the window, well, remember, after all, there are such things. Vampires do exist. I know they exist. Thank you. I will now take any questions that you may have for me. Yes. Dr. Fordyce, my name is Ingrid Stensgard, and I'd like to be the first to welcome you to Pace University. A doctor of philosophy, a doctor of theology, and a doctor of metaphysics, not to mention an expert on the occult. Well, I hope you enjoy your semester with us. Thank you. Very well. All right. Hi, I'm Gina Melli. Hello. Um, what exactly is this class you're teaching, Professor? Are you in need of a theology credit? Yes. You're a biology major. <clears throat> uh, a, li a little theology never hurt. Well, come by my office this week and we'll see what can be done for you. I think I'm in love. You're in love with every boy. And what's the problem with that? Professor Fordyce, I was curious if you had any comment on what happened to the female student here last week. I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean. Well, I'm not really sure how to explain. A young woman was found dead in the stairwell by a janitor here, a Mr. Thorley Ripper. Yes, Thorley suffered a complete mental breakdown from finding the body almost driven to the point of insanity. I'm sorry, but that appears a bit out of my scope. This particular bit of ghastliness is not really within my line. It was almost ritualistic in nature. It reminded me of certain cult murders in the late 1960s. They were referred to as demonic. Oh yes, some youngsters. Well, Professor, what sort of cult goes around slaughtering its victims in this way? My sphere of interest involves the occult. I don't see how this business is similar. The victim was almost completely drained of blood. Drained of blood? Yes. Why would somebody want to do that? Drained of blood?
I just don't see how we could expect us to believe that vampires are real. What's so hard to believe? New discoveries are being made every day. Because vampires aren't real, Jen. That's why. But what if they are, Andrew? They aren't. Turn that damn music off. There's a nice way to say that. I think it's a groovy notion. Something that sleeps in the tombs of the dead by day and rises at night to feed on the blood of the innocent and unsuspecting. Oof. A notion for a girl's fantasy. What, you wouldn't want to be a vampire for a night? I was a vampire for a night. Halloween night. Can we change the subject, please? Yes, I, I forgot he was your brother. Sorry. It's all right. But where's Ingrid anyway? It's her party. You know how she has to make a big entrance? <laughs> yeah. Well, if she doesn't get here within the next few minutes, I'm going to start gnawing on my arm from hunger. There she is. Speak of the devil. And she shall appear. We've been waiting for you. Yeah, what's the deal? Speak, speak, why don't you speak? Miss Ingrid Stensgard would be most honored if you'd attend her little party tonight. You're all to meet at midnight in the innocuous room in the basement. Innocuous? At midnight? Why? Just how far are you willing to go? What do you mean by that? Are you willing to sell your souls to the devil? To hold a seance to end all seances. I don't think that's a really good idea. Why not? My brother says it's dangerous. Come on, we've all heard his presentations and they're all just baloney. Hey, he is her brother. Yes, and I'm sure he's a great guy, but we have to admit that some of his theories are pretty far out. I still don't like it. Come on, Jen, it'll be a giggle. Yeah, Jen, it'll be a giggle. Come on, Jen, it'll be a yeah, giggle. Yeah, Jen, don't be a wuss. All right, fine. Uh, don't we need blood for this type of ceremony? That has already been arranged. Ooh, groovy. Midnight, then. Then let it be written. No, that is not what happened. All right, all right. What are your plans for tonight? Uh, I'm just going to tool around with the group. The group? You know, Gina Malley, Joe Mitchum, Diana Farmer, Andrew Carson, Jenny Fordyce. Hmm, sounds like a giggle. That's what I said. You really are my mom. Well. All I can say is, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Sure thing, Mom. Have fun, Caroline. Good night. Good night. Mwah. What type are we looking for? She said it was some kind of innocuous room. Is that a color? Innocuous means innocent. Excuse me. Ingrid said there was a room in the basement. Yeah, and it is midnight. Well, there's no room in the basement on the map. And just because it's not on the map doesn't mean it doesn't exist. There it is. Seems innocuous enough. I was beginning to think you weren't coming. All right. No more fooling around. Let us begin. Close the devil's circle. Dig the music, kids. Let it fill you up. Relax. Give yourselves up to it. Feel it happening like a great ocean gathering you up like the silken shrouds of death. I call upon the demons of forbidden knowledge. I call upon the many names of Prince Satan, Beelzebub, Lucifer, and Count Dracula. I make a pact with you all, the baptism of the walking dead. Oh, hear me now. I call upon Jennifer Fordyce. No. No. You have been summoned. No, not her! Me! Let it be me!
an ancient rite performed before the dawn of time. All who witness it must swear an oath to the name of the devil to keep it a secret. Now you must drink. You have been part of the ceremony. You must drink. I don't want to drink it. You must drink. You drink it. You drink the filth. By the 6,000 terrors of hell, I baptize.
In conclusion, that is why you shouldn't eat one of those pies. Because after all, you don't know what's in them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Michael, for your most insightful presentation. Well, the lucky rest of you all will have to forego your presentations until next class. See you next week. Guys, do you mind if I spoke to you for a minute? You have some explaining to do, Miss Ingrid. I suppose I really shook you guys up last night, huh? No. Okay, yes, a lot. Oh, I really had you going. Yeah, what was that all about, Miss Ingrid? Did you really think that we were paying a visit to old Beelzebub? Hmm? Wait till Caroline hears about that. I suppose we did take it a bit too serious. Was that really all just a gag, Miss Ingrid? Yes. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Now that that's settled, Jen, when are we going to get together to discuss your final paper? I'd have to check my schedule. All right. Well, uh, I haven't got your address, so if you don't mind writing it down for me. Sure. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, Jennifer. Tonight's faculty meeting was canceled, and I thought that perhaps tonight we might grab some dinner together? Uh... A pizza bar, maybe? I'm sorry, Terrence. Ah, plans of your own? Mm-hmm. Another time. <laughs> sure. I'm sorry to hear about your friend. What? Uh, Caroline, I believe it was. What about her? You don't know? Know what? They found her in Central Park. Perhaps you better come inside for a moment, my dear. The most evil and terrible creature to ever set his seal upon civilization. Jen, if you don't mind me saying, you're being a little silly. I am not! He said her throat had been cut! Jen, not even the NYPD knows what crawls around Central Park at night. Poor Caroline. Maybe I shouldn't go out. Oh, silly fiddle-faddle. You have a handsome boyfriend ready to take you out for a night on the town. It'll do you some good. I suppose you're right. Of course I am. I always am. <laughs> what would I do without you, Gina? Die of boredom. Come here, give me a hug. Oh. <laughs> I won't, uh, wait up for you. Shut up! Mm -hmm. Yeah? You don't want me to stay here? Do you want the room to yourself? No, you're gonna go back to his place. Oh. Oh, I wish it had been me. This is a trick, Jen. Come on. I'm not in the mood to be scared. Not after last night. I... Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have scared you. Do you forgive me? No. No? No. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you positive? Yes. Do you want to leave? Yes. you want to go home? Yes. You sure? <laughs> you sure about that? No, no, no. No, no, no. Come on, stay. All right, bye. He's fine! I should have known not to trust the alligator man himself. That's my name. <laughs> Besides, if I went home, I'd feel bad. Gina was really excited to have the room to herself.
failed me. Master, it was my fault. She wasn't the one. I'll find her. Really, I will. I just need more time. You know nothing of time. Perhaps, if I was given the power, I could find her for you. The power! It was I who brought you back! I demand the power! You demand! I beg of you, Cap Dracula! Gina to not answer her phone. I should go check on her. No, just sit and eat your food. Come on. I don't have much of an appetite. Look, guys, I'm sorry for acting weird and heaping all of this onto the both of you. No, oh, it's fine. I know exactly what you mean. I haven't really felt the same since that night. You guys are the only people I can talk to. Why don't you try talking to your counselor? My counselor is Miss Ingrid herself. 
I thought you two were really close. She's changed. She's not the same person, Andrew. All right, well, you better not talk about it anymore. She's coming this way. Jennifer, I was quite distressed not to find you at home last night. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Stensgard. Please, call me Ingrid. May I join you? Oh, well, we, we all have a, a dentist appointment. Dentist appointment. Dentist appointment. All three of us. It's uh, a Groupon. Three for the price of two. So we're gonna go, but like six seats just just opened up. <laughs> Got my effects. <laughs> Thanks for that. Look, just go up to my room and take the day off, okay? Gerda can make you a sandwich. Who's Gerda? Well, I may or may not have hired someone to clean up after me. But you live on campus! Yeah, and I'm messy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So are you really okay? Please come with me. Look, I'll come right after my exam, but for right now, take my card, eat a sandwich, and relax. I'll see you soon. Okay, do well on your exam. Not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. See you later. Professor Fordyce here? Yes. I was told I'd be able to reach you. This is Billy Pippin, the security guard at 182 Broadway, the dormitories. Sir, could you come down here? Whatever for? The young lady, sir. She's been found dead. I'm not sure how I... That's the thing, sir. Yes. Yes, I'll be right over. in the room of G. Hamelli and Jennifer Fordyce. No relation, I trust. No, of course not. The officer is waiting for you inside. Thank you. I appreciate your coming on such short notice, Professor. Miles Mallison, NYPD. Terrence Fordyce. Well, you do the honors. Please. Diana, where's Andrew? We've been waiting for you, Jennifer. We've been waiting for you. Diana, where's Andrew? You don't need Andrew. Dad from? I couldn't say. This isn't the uh, first Pace student to be found drained of all of her blood. First the girl in the staircase, then the girl in Central Park. If you don't figure this out, it could be the ruin of your university. Have you ever seen something like this before? 
Well, it's an animal bite, isn't it? Probably a, a dog or a cat? No, this is the mark of the vampire. Sometimes called the seal of Dracula. You notice how it cuts through the vein? A vampire? Ah, uh, no. No, no. Uh, I, I'm a man of the law. I don't believe in ghosts or evil spirits, and I don't think you do either. I believe in everything that the human brain is unable to disprove, Sergeant. Ha, <laughs> vampires. It's just preposterous. You asked for my opinion, Sergeant, and I have given it to you. Hmm, perhaps I'll reconsider. An animal bite, or perhaps she cut herself while she was fastening a shawl or something of the like. Of course, of course. You must be right. Yeah, I knew you'd see it my way. Probably some new disease that I'm unfamiliar with. Oh, is it contagious? Yes, uh, impossible to say, but it would be wise to seal off this room indefinitely. As you say, Professor. And uh, no word yet of our roommate, uh, Jennifer, I believe it was? No, nobody's heard from her all day, apparently. Well, if that is all you'll be needing me for, Inspector? Yes, you're free to go, Professor. Thank you for your time, and let me know if you think of anything else. Of course. Of course. to starve. Y'all don't understand. I got requirements for my full body. Hello, can I help you? Thanks. Jen, there's a man here for you. It's all right, Gerda. Jennifer? Jennifer, where have you been? Here at Andrews. <sighs> you gave me quite the fright. Oh, Terrence, you always make such a fuss. I decided to take the day off because I was feeling a bit under the weather. Gina's dead, Jennifer. I know. How unfortunate. Yes. I'm sorry. I want you to wear this, Jennifer. Now don't think I'm being silly. This will protect you. Terrence, I... I... Please, Jennifer. For my sake. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's very good. How do you feel? Uh, well, steady. Steady. You've had a busy day. Now you'll need plenty of fluids. Coffee, tea, or better still, wine. Is she gonna be okay? Yes, I think so. We were just in the nick of time. You mean it, though? The real Dracula? Yes, and he will be back. Back for Jennifer. Well, we gotta, we gotta kill him. No, not kill. He is already dead. He can be destroyed, but not killed. How? There are many ways, Andrew. 
First, light. Vampires are allergic to light. Sunlight is fatal. Two, the crucifix, symbolizing the power of good over evil. We must inform the others. This school must be put on lockdown immediately. No student must be left alone, and no outsider must be allowed to enter the building. For a vampire cannot cross a threshold without having first being invited by someone who is already on the inside. You make it sound so easy. To skin a cat, Andrew, first you must find the cat. You warned us all about this at your lecture. Why didn't I listen to you? Why didn't we all listen to you? You may not have believed me then, but you must have the courage to believe me now. And with God's help, we'll succeed. Now you must get some garlic flowers, as many as you can. Place them by every door and every window. They may be taken out during the day, but under no circumstances must they be taken out at night. Goblins and werewolves, sir? Yeah, don't be ridiculous. Oh no, the danger is very real. Ah! No one respects the name Fordyce like Pace University. However, a man can be known to go off the rails. I cannot impress upon you strongly enough how important it is that you obey my instructions. If I am to help the students of this university at all, there are certain things you must do to help me, no matter how unorthodox they may appear. You're serious, aren't you? Dead. Oh my god. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter. Come back, Paul. And a transfusion can only be completed if it is done by a loved one. <laughs> I trust Miss Jennifer is feeling better. Who are you? His name is Johnny Alucard. A friend of Miss Jennifer's. This is Terence Fordyce, Jennifer's brother. That truly is an interesting surname. Alucard, I think you said it was? Yes. Even more interesting when spelled backwards, Count Dracula! You're indeed a wise man, Fordyce, and for someone who's not yet lived a single lifetime. But now that you have learned what you have learned, it would be wise for you to return to your country. I prefer to remain and protect those whom you would destroy. But you are too late. In my time, I've had many brides, but I shall set Jennifer above them all. You won't get Jen. But she's mine already. No! <laughs> Absolutely no one, not even pizza delivery men. Good night. Oh, Professor, Professor! The vampires have been unhooked, they've been unleashed, they've been uncaged, they've been released into the world of which
which I hate so much. They're coming for me, Professor. I've never been so scared in my life. I can't find any steaks. I burn them for incense. I got garlic for my hair. It's good for your scalp. I can't find my cross because I'm atheist. Professor, there's blood all over. There's blood. Oh, oh, oh. Don't you listen. Bring Girl, me calm down. I'm sorry. Are you all right? I'm good. Good. Now, if you can please just keep a watch outside Jennifer's room tonight. Sure. I'll be fine. Thank you, Gerda. Thank you. Wait, wait. For your mother's sake. What is it? Thank you, Gerda. for you. I know, I know. You locked me out. That sucks. Joe, please, please let me in. We're not supposed to let anybody inside. Joe, it's really, really cold. Please. Thank you. Ah, your hands are cold. Do you want a blanket or something, or? Joe? I've always known how you felt about me. Yeah? Yeah, I thought I was being so secretive about it. <laughs> to be honest, I felt the same about you too. Really? Come. Let me kiss you. How did she get in here? Uh, uh, the, the doorman. The doorman? Was, was sleeping when I went down there. Did you let her in? No did locks. you let her yes, in, Joe? Yes, I let her in. Why? I didn't think she was going to be a vampire. <sighs> Good God. Is there anything that I can do to bring her back? Yes, we can set up a transfusion immediately. I'll do it. They found the Stenskart home. Trying to break into the female dormitories. Dracula? No. If you wish to see the destruction of the horror spawned by Count Dracula, come with me. But I warn you, it is not a sight for the squeamish. <laughs> now do not be afraid. This is not the teacher you knew. It's only a shell, possessed and corrupted by the evil of Dracula. When we destroy it, we destroy only the evil.
It's all right now, Andrew. Look. brains against mine. Against me, who has commanded nations? Yes. 